Hello, and today I am in Snowdonia. I'm very excited about the day. I've already got some pretty spectacular 360 degree views and I've only just set off. So it should be a really great day, a little bit windy, but a great day of landscape photography. Let's go. Okay, so I'm set up for the first shot of the day and I've just been sort of naturally walking up the mountain, having a good look around and I've found this little composition here. It's a vertical shot, but I've still got some of that flowering heather. It is coming towards the end of the heather season, but there is still a little bit here. And as I've been walking, I've noticed this natural S curve in the bracken here, or the heather, sorry, as the ditch kind of is going through the landscape and on the, each little section of the hill, that heather is, is there and flowering nicely. And it just makes a nice S curve that then leads you up into that mountain above my head there. It's not the ideal time of the day, but the sun isn't in a bad position for the shot. I'm at F8 and I've gone to ISO 200 in order to let me get up to one two hundredth of a second to freeze that heather because there's so much wind, it's blowing about and I want that to be still in the frame and I'm just waiting for a little bit of light to poke through the clouds just to light up that bracket. Why do I keep calling it bracket? It's heather. I want the light to come through the clouds to light up that heather because it just comes alive when it hit when the light hits it. So that's what I want. It's going to brighten up a few of these rocks here. A really nice shot to get me going for the day. So I'm happy with that. I've just noticed as I've been walking up. Right here we go. A bit of light in the scene now and that is absolutely brilliant. Now, when I travel to a new location, the type of quality of shots I get generally will depend on the connection I feel to a particular area. When I visit somewhere, I want to understand it, I want to enjoy it, and I want to really feel it and build a connection, an emotional connection with the landscape. Because once I do that, it's at that point I feel I can start to tell the story and put some emotion into the shots I capture. Sometimes it doesn't happen and sometimes it does and it doesn't even really depend on the actual beauty of the place. I once visited the Grand Canyon and to be honest I didn't really like it. It is a magnificent spectacle but for me I just didn't make that emotional connection to the place. I don't know why it just happens that way sometimes. Last week when I went to Anglesey I just had that I was overwhelmed with disappointment when I didn't get the image that I was looking for and that's just the sort of type of photographer I am. I do try to be more stoic, to be more practical, to have that even level that can then allow you to sort of overcome these things a little bit easier, but I'm just not like that. I get quite emotional about my photography as you may have seen. There are highs, there are lows, and a lot of that will depend on how I'm feeling about the landscape around me. I've just been thinking a lot more recently about the actual shooting of landscape photography, getting out and about, why we do it, that sort of thing. So I just wanted to share that little feeling. Right, the day's looking good. It's just so windy, which is why I've had to take cover in this little cove here, but I'm gonna crack on, get up the mountain now. I've got a big steep hill ahead of me and I get to the top where I'm hoping there is going to be a really nice composition for my main image of the day. This boulder here has 
clearly fallen from the cliff face at some point in the past, but it's now covered in heather and it looks absolutely beautiful. There's no shot there, but very cool. I've not seen anything like that before. Whew. Nice little break from the climb to have a look at that. That is a daunting climb. Okay, I've stopped for the second shot of the day and a welcome break from this really tough climb. Can you see this tree here just sticking out of the side of the cliff? It looks absolutely spectacular. I just noticed it as I was walking up and it's sort of set in those really dark rocks of that cliff. And I noticed it at first and then suddenly, like it is now, the light struck it through that this tiny little canyon. It's only going to happen at a very specific point in the day and it just happens to be when I was walking past. So I have the 70 to 200 millimeter lens on there and I'm in at about 120 millimeters just on the tree. So I'm isolating the tree in the frame. That's the main subject. That's nice and bright. You've got that golden light on it. And then that's contrast against that really dark cliff. It's a very simple shot, but it's going to work really well. I'm just going to capture one more, see what that looks like. Absolutely brilliant. Right, I'm at the top and it is extremely windy. The top is actually, or well, the real top is actually up there. That's Wygan or Egan, I think it is. I'm not going up there today. I'm tired and I've pretty much got the composition just here that I wanted. It's a very straightforward shot. This is pretty much why I came here to see this viewpoint and it does make a really nice composition. I've trekked out onto a little precipice and I've got to say, it is very high and a little bit close to the edge even for me. I'm not feeling particularly brave today. So in the composition, I have the two lakes down at the bottom of this beautiful valley. And then in the foreground, I've got some of the rocks at the top of this cliff and a few of the grasses just moving around a little bit, providing a little bit of foreground interest that are covered in some beautiful golden light at the moment. It's definitely not the perfect conditions for this shot. It would be beautiful in a winter sort of shot with some snow-capped mountains, some moody light. Today it's very bright, but there are some clouds, so there is a fair bit of contrast in the scene. It's not too bad. It's still going to be a good shot. It's my first time here in Snowdonia, so whoa. So I can't. Whoa. It's uh, it's been a great experience today. I feel like I have made a bit of a connection. Whoa, with this place, despite the fact I'm nearly falling off this cliff. So I'm not going to wait till sunset today. I'm just going to trek back down. It was a harsh trek and I don't fancy doing it in the dark. So I'm going to trek back down to the car. I might get a little sunset shot down by one of these lakes at the end of the day. And then I've got a long drive home back to Yorkshire. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please leave a comment down below and let me know what you think. I would really, really love to hear you from, from you. I do read all the comments. I reply to as many as I possibly can, depending on what I'm doing, but I'll hopefully see you on another one very soon. Head over to firstmanphotography.com to check out the workshops and you can come on a trip like this with me, get a bit of tuition, a bit of guidance from me and really improve your landscape photography. Anyway, I will see you on another one very soon. I'm Adam, this is First Man Photography in Snowdonia. Ow.